What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm and we're back down at the pawpaw patch. It's time to find some little pawpaw trees and see if we can't dig those up, bring those back to the farm. Hey y'all, real quick, we're at 988 subscribers. We're almost at that thousand mark. Remember, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna go live for the very first time. And I'd love it if you guys could be there. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. It'll let you know when I go live and you can ask me any kind of questions. I'll take any questions about the ducks, about the pigs, about the chickens, about the garden beds, about the food forest. And I'm gonna do it on my phone, so maybe we'll do it mobile. We'll walk around a little bit. See you there. So down at the pawpaw patch. And I'm standing in the middle of it. Let me show you the big, here's the mother tree, right here. That's the biggest one that's down here. And it goes all the way to the top up there. And we're gonna be looking further away from that mother, the mother tree, because um, probably a lot of them that around that mother tree are pups popping up off of her rootstock. Now a pawpaw will shoot off other trees, other pawpaw trees from their roots. So we're gonna come down in here. I need to watch my step, I just heard something moving. I don't wanna step on a snake down here. We're gonna come down here close to the, uh, every time I move I hear something else move. Oh, it's a big frog. <laughs> okay. We're going to come down here next to the creek and see if we can't find any small ones that are in here. Let's look around. What would be ideal would be a, a seedling. So here's a small one just found right here, this guy right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to dig all around it and see if it's connected, if it has a feeder root down there, if it's connected to a bigger plant, or if it's more of a seedling out on its own. Uh, now I've been doing a little research and talking to some people. If the only thing I can find back here is plants coming off the feeder root, off the mother plant, uh, they suggested that I dig down, like I'm doing here, Find the root, sever the root from the, from the mother plant, let that heal, and then dig it up in the fall. This was kind of more exploratory right now, seeing what we got, what smaller ones we have, seeing what's in the ground. But if I can take it right now, I will. I brought a bucket, or I brought a couple buckets just in case there was a couple I need to take, or would like to take. So bear with me guys as I dig this trench. I don't know how deep the feeder root would be. I'm new at this, this is my first time doing it. So you guys are learning right along with me. I'm not acting like I know what I'm talking about in this. I am learning as I go. Learning from people that have done it before and learning as I go. It looks like it's just gonna come right out. I moved this, look, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but when I move this whole clump of dirt in the middle, the whole tree moves. Hopefully it'll come right out. I'm not seeing any big roots from like a bigger mother tree. Oh, I'm about a, maybe eight, 10 inches in right now. Eight, 10 inches deep, I don't see anything. Not hitting anything hard just really sandy soil right here next to the creek let's see let's see if this will just pop loose like that oh my goodness it might holy moly guys i think we may just have us a, a pawpaw tree oh i did feel the root pulled out some there we go we got a pawpaw in our bucket down there let's see if we can't find some more so i found another one i'm gonna try to i'm digging up and i just wanted to give you a shot of the trench around it. Um, kind of document that and show all the roots that are sticking out of it. And we'll see if this tree makes it. It's a little, it's bigger than the first one I took. You know, I don't know if all those roots coming off came from this tree or the trees surrounding it. Now, if, I don't know if I should leave it here 
and let the roots that I severed heal a little bit or I should take it right away. Now I was advised that uh, if I do need to sever some roots, some main roots, to sever them and then leave it to heal. But I don't know if these are main, you know, if this is a pup coming off of a, a feeder root from the mother plant or not. I'm gonna take it and be a little experiment. We'll take it. We know what it looks like now. We, we see what the trench looks like and the roots. We'll take it. If this tree doesn't make it, we'll know next time if it looks like this to leave that one in the ground and then come back later after it's healed and take it. I think it's too big of a root ball there for me to get in the bucket, so I don't know how we're going to do this. We're going to try. See what happens. I don't even know if it'll break loose yet. We're going to go around and just kind of wedge it a little bit. Oh, look at it move, the whole thing. It might break loose. I think it just broke it loose. I'm keep wedging it around. I think so. But that's definitely too big to put in a five gallon bucket. Oh, and I'm afraid to shave some off. I'm gonna be killing more roots that are in there. What to do, what to do, what to do. So it looks like it's free. Um, we will just, I guess, just try to shove it in there, I guess. Try to put 10 pounds of crap in a five, back, five gallon bucket. Let's see if it works. Oh, that's heavy too. Okay. This is gonna be weird lifting. I don't wanna throw my back out. I don't have a great back, y'all. I lift this weird. I may be stuck down here for a little while until I can get the strength to get out. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh, come up, come up, come down, come down. Oh. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> we're too big for the bucket. All right, let's see what we can do to get this thing in there. Because we got to get it back to the homestead still. Oh, there's some clay mixed in this part. Gray clay. All right, let's see if we can get this bad boy in the bucket. Oh, don't fall on me. All right, big guy, come on. There we go, it's going in. Oh, all right. We gotta head back to the homestead with these heavy buckets and replant these things. Let's go, I'll bring you back when we get there. Whoo, y'all, it's 95 degrees out here, 100% humidity, it's hot. I just want to go ahead and apologize beforehand about what you may see here. I had to take my shirt off, y'all. It's it's adding an extra 20 pounds on me right now, covered in sweat. Dragging these uh, dra dragging these buckets back here. Ooh, got me sweating hard, y'all. So I knew it was gonna happen at some point this year. The shirt came off. Oh, GDP. It may be hot out in the desert, man, but y'all don't have to deal with this 100% humidity. It just makes it hard to breathe out here. It's so humid. I gotta talk in between my breaths. <laughs> All right, enough playing around. We're at the spot where I'm gonna put my pawpaw trees. As you can see, there's two more pawpaw trees in there. There's this pawpaw tree right here and another one right here that I cut by accident. I was mowing, didn't see it, snipped the top of it off by accident, but it's still got shoots on the bottom part, so it's gonna, it's gonna pull through. And I'm gonna put these two wild varieties beside these two cultivar varieties. And I apologize, I don't have what varieties these two are. I have it written down inside, I just don't remember. They are two different types, though. I bought them um, from a nursery. Well, a guy that started his own plants, starting his nursery. I bought them from him. So we're gonna dig a couple holes behind this big old autumn olive so these things can get shade and we'll stick them in there. Oh, 
Oh, my beard is full of sweat, y'all. All right, let's see if we can get this bigger paw paw tree out. Let's see if we can get it in the hole. Try to get as much of this soil that was with the tree back in the hole. Since it obviously like growing in that soil. It's in the hole, all the roots are in the hole. Cover it. All right, I'm not gonna make y'all watch me do the next one. I actually need to go get some water now. I'm gonna go to the pond, it's not far. That didn't take me long, did it? All right. Got a spring fed pond right in the middle of the property there. It's pretty convenient at times. Let me show you where I put the other one. It's really small, you can hardly see it. It's this one right, oh. There we go, we're in a shot now. It's right here. All right. So that's it, y'all. Dug up two pawpaw trees, stuck them next to my two other pawpaw trees. Just got done watering them. Sweating buckets. I probably could have just stood over those pawpaw trees for like five minutes and watered them that way. Give them a good shake. <laughs> shake out my beard on them. All right, y'all, appreciate you watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, whatever. Make sure you subscribe down there and share this with a friend. Later, y'all.